Okay, do a tour around the backyard again. Dad's old backyard has changed quite a bit since I moved here. Here's the beginning of our pond system. It's the upper pond. Still got a couple of Dad's old tomato plants here along with his well-known sign which right now is also serving as a pole for a small solar panel that works a little pump right down there. This volunteer has been with us all fall and winter long. Lots of ripe fruit on it already. And the beautiful, whatever they're called, plant. There's actually three ponds up here. This one has a few koi and some goldfish. Lots of water hyacinths. Lots of water hyacinths in the middle pond which forms a little waterfall into a much bigger pond which there's koi in here but they hide during the daytime a lot except feeding time and again the water hyacinths are doing well here there's also a plant right there called pennywort which we picked up in the riverbed and it's growing like crazy here and of course the cute little sign we put up last year showing how far away our favorite places are. Still got some of Dad's plants going on here. Some that we moved from Oxnard. And then we have a greenhouse right here. Which, let's see if I can poke my head in there. Put down the yard for a while while I open this. We got the mister going right now. So, it's a cute little greenhouse, a good place to put plants in the winter when things get too cold here. You can see the neighbors got a lot of passion fruit growing along Rocky's mural. and the rock garden we put in back over to the pond area like in Disneyland the backside of water here's the pond again the upper pond cute little hummingbird thing that is solar powered and operates at night and changes colors back to our sign with places and directions which I took off my GPS this green stuff kind of goes around the whole little wood deck that Rocky built and the green stuff is growing like crazy a nice plant that hides our little filter for the pond back over to the passion fruit and stuff. We got one growing right there. And on back into the lemon tree. Let's go take a look at the deck and the pond. There is the other part of the planter box that we made out of bricks. And then here's the pond. Really turned out clean today. I don't know why it was a little dirty the other day. And then here's all our buddies. Here's one of the big ones. That's the big daddy. He's daddy to a lot of the little fry that we have over here. 
and uh, let's see if I can get to the guys in here to eat. That's a beautiful white butterfly koi there. There's our big orange one. Got some of her babies too. And the big white one that we got a bunch of her babies the first go around. Don't know how many of them are going to survive because my veterinary buddy tells me that really hard to raise. In fact, he said, you do know you can go buy them for four or five dollars. <laughs> That's just the challenge for me. And then over there is the other side of the pond, like the back side of water again. And then down here is the babies. I don't know if I'm going to get a good picture of them today. Maybe I'll try again later. But this is the nursery, which we kind of impromptu put together. Boy, they're up looking good now. And then over there we have a beautiful uh, lily flower growing. That these new lilies that are in here, the big new lilies, were a gift from my friend the veterinarian, Dr. Brian along with a few other things like some grass there that he warned me could take over the pond. So. But all the big guys are right there. Lots of tomatoes growing again this year. Got some potatoes, both sweet and regular potatoes. Lots of bulbs left over from Claire's bulbs. I forget what they're called. Gladiolas or something, I think. And uh, all these tomato plants are volunteers. That one has actually been going for two years now. It was Claire's tomato plant. It produced fruit again this year. And some more t tomato plants. And then over here we got a little bit more tomato plants. Onions that are just starting to grow. There's one right there. Rocky is so proud of his baby onions. And there's more growing in there. And uh, I forget what this little thing is. Some kind of pepper. And then over here we got more peppers. These are all doing real well. There's a little baby uh, popper type peppers. And then up on the patio wall we still have the, the dressings from the party we had here. Which was a huge success. And everybody keeps saying, we want to do it again. Uh, it sounds all well and good, but they didn't have to break Rocky's arm to do all the cooking. <laughs> and then there's the pond, uh, the, the big aquarium, which I really can't show a close-up picture of because there's illegal things in there. Uh-oh. We got a little makeshift work table that we do work on. Not we, Rocky does. Here's my favorite girl. There's my baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Aren't you, Dolly? Huh? You a good girl, Dolly? Are you a good girl? Uh-oh, there's Toto. Uh-oh, don't do that. You're going to get stung. Coco. Forgot a couple of things. There's Carboni's fig tree that he wanted me to pull off of this big huge fig tree that's next door that grows over the fence every year and I cut way back after of course we pull all the fruit off 
and then we have the forever growing orange tree with lots of oranges on it getting ready for the later in the year and these are the beautiful I don't know what they're called plants that started off about two foot tall and three strands of it and it's grown all the way over here and over on the other end of the pond and then we also have our upside down tomato plants Rocky made his own pots for that Thumper is finally coming back to life took a heck of a hit during the move and cold winter but there's new sprouts coming up on it and I think that's mint and uh, another hanging plant that we couldn't do without and then of course monster charlie 